it's Chloe and we're back with another video. You guys, this is going to be real quick. Okay, real quick because all I want to talk about is Olajuwon and Alyssa. Okay, we are going to have our live review on Saturday. Saturday night we're going to have our live review. So we're going to get into details, details then, okay? But honey, I need to get into some stuff, okay? I need to really get into some stuff. So let's just start with Alyssa and Chris. Now listen, from the wedding... I already saw all the red flags. Okay. The whole time Alyssa was walking down to walking down the aisle, all I kept saying was, Chris don't smile, Chris don't smile, Chris don't smile. But Chris was up there just smelling and smelling and smelling and smelling. I'm like, Chris, no, 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 no. She don't want no snag a tooth. Okay, you giving very snag a tooth fish right now. Okay, don't smack. Um, so when she came out, y'all, I was just like, Ooh, you could tell she was so uncomfortable. She was fidgeting the whole time. She was just thinking to herself, like, no, the F they didn't No, the F they didn't, but they did since they did. Okay. Um, they were literally social distancing. I mean, they were so far apart. I think they were further than six feet at this point. Okay. I'm like, is they getting married? Could y'all even fit them in a the frame at one point? They had to go all the way back just so we could see both of them in the same frame. Child was a mess. It was a whole mess. Okay. Um, but he liked her boots. And I said, Alyssa, um, I'm like, Alyssa, you might as well just be happy. He liked your boots. Somebody liked them boots. Okay. Nobody liked them boots. I don't like them boots. <laughs> now I know Kimberly Review said she liked them boots, but girl, I'm side eyeing you if you liking them boots. That's all I'm saying. You too, whoever you is. Okay. That liked them boots. <laughs> Alyssa and her fake Kardashian friends. Okay. They some haters. They some haters, okay? They saw my son. Isn't it wow? Like you're like getting married? Like, girl, what? Talk right. Like Oh, that 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 little that what is it? Like the valley girl. Uh like I, I can't. I just can't. Okay, but anyway, they take it forever to get ready. I'm like, is y'all ever gonna get ready? We why why are we watching them get ready? I mean, usually we get like a quick shot here, quick shot there. I mean, we saw all of them curling their hair, getting their makeup done. Like that was a whole whole video shoot going on in Alyssa's room. Not here for none of that. But anyway, Alyssa sends her friends over to Chris to basically let him know that she's not affectionate, okay? It's gonna take her a while to get there. She's not gonna feel comfortable sleeping with him. She already set it up so that he could think that this is just her personality trait, okay? Now, child, I don't even know why, okay? Chris is dag near begging her mother to let him know, let him know if she says anything about me. Like, I mean, if she say anything about me, please let me know. Please let me know. Child, I was sitting here the whole time like, what, what? What is happening? What what is going on? Okay, no, no, no. Okay, but this is the this is what did it for Alyssa. Alyssa goes to talk to Chris' friends and they ask her, "What was your initial thought when you first saw him?" She was like, "Um, well, he was kind," and they was like, "Kind." Oh, well, let me let's let me just tell you, okay? Like sometimes he likes to be a teacher, okay? So, if you he ever feels like he's being condescending, it's because he feels like you need to learn something, like maybe you both can learn something. And I was like, mm. Okay, then they was like, oh, and you know, be strong and stick to your guns because he will try to tell you that you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. I said, these is these, these his friends. Y'all sure those Chris friends? Because they don't sound like they Chris friends, okay? So then let me tell you what happened, okay? What happened was Alyssa saw an out, okay? An out to what we all knew she wanted, okay? She never liked him. She never was attracted to him. There was nothing about Chris that she wanted, okay? Now, she saw this as an opportunity to take those words, and I mean run, 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 run to the hills, okay? She gets to the confessional, like, I don't think I could ever date someone like that, be with someone like that. Like, I just can't do it. Like, I just, I don't even want to be on camera. I don't even want to be on camera. The dramatics, okay? And then she decides that she's going to walk off. Now, listen. Alyssa, I'm fine with you not liking that daggone Chris. I'm fine with that, girl. But just be honest with yourself. It has nothing to do with what they say. It's the fact that you just don't like him. You don't like him. You don't like his teeth. You don't like his face. You don't like his body. Just say you don't like him. Okay, maybe if he would have told you he was going to buy you some horses, then you probably would have liked them, child. You should have liked him when he said he liked them boots. That's all I'm saying. 
That's all I'm saying, okay? So we get to the scene of Chris sitting in the hallway just waiting for her to come out because we don't see everybody get ready for bed, child. We like, what's going on with them, okay? <laughs> okay, Alyssa's telling production, I don't think I could be with someone like that. I don't even feel comfortable with sharing a room with him. Like, I don't even, I, like, I just don't get it. Y'all want to know what she said he said in the elevator because everybody seemed to not know what he said in the elevator. He told her that I'm just Alyssa's side piece. And she was like, oh, no, no, condescending, condescending. I can't be with nobody like that. He said I'm a side piece. I mean, he said he my side piece. He said he my side piece. So she's basically trying to make it seem like he was trying to be funny as if, you know, oh, she's all of that and he's just sitting here on the sideline. That's what I got from it, okay? Like he was trying to be funny about it. Like, girl, I'm sure I was joking. But let me tell you something. And I'm just going to throw this in there. If your friends talk about you like that, Chris, I'm going to believe it. So I'm not mad at Alyssa. But I would take it with a grain of salt. Being a soul, I just met you. You did nothing to me. <laughs> like, I just met you. I just met you. Okay? And Alyssa, for you to be so, it's like, you want to blame it on the attitude that you have not get, gotten to see yet. You want to blame it on that. But that's not what it is. You just not attracted to him. Because, girl, if you was attracted to him and he would have said that to you on the elevator, you would have laughed it off, okay? Just be honest about the whole situation in general. It has nothing to do with that man's personality because you don't know him. It's all about the looks. Like, you told production in there, he's not my type. He's nothing I asked for. That's all this is about. Don't make it about anything else except for his looks because you don't even know him. Okay, but something about that Chris is rubbing me wrong. It's rubbing me wrong. It's telling me that, you know, he put it on the front because if your friends can sit there and talk about you like that, I got my eye on you, Chris. I got my eye on you. Okay, she goes out and she apologized to him for making him wait. He like, I just wanted to know what was going on. She tells him that, you know, she didn't like the things that he said and she thinks that they need to go to sleep, reset, and start over again tomorrow. Child said, girl, you don't want to start over again tomorrow. Just tell him you don't want to do this no more. But y'all know they can't do that because they want to get them checks. They obligated by law. Or contract, I should say, to stick this thing out. But you can't be this picky when you going on married at first sight. You have to know that you're not going to get everything that you're looking for. You just have to know that. That's not even like anything out of this. That's not even anything out of this world. I mean, granted, you got a lot of things you wasn't looking for. But you can't be that picky when you going on married at first sight. You just can't be. Because if you, if you had it all together and you can go find that perfect man, you would have him already. Just saying. Just saying. Okay, y'all, let's get into Elijah Wan because Elijah Wan worked on my last, last, last nerve, okay? Elijah Wan is setting a thirst trap for anyone who don't see it, okay? Now, listen, I don't know. I'm just going by this episode because I feel like, you know, he might like, you know, I'm, I feel like he actually likes Katina and they're a good match. But I got a bone to pick with you, um, Elijah Wan, okay? So, Elijah Wan decides that he's picking her up, doing, you know, their pictures, and then he's telling her, you know, he's doing a little lap dance on her, all up on her, you know, grinding on her, lifting the shirt up, doing the most, doing the most. And then he like, yeah, I just want her to know, like, if she want to do something, I could do something. That's why I was picking her up and showing her my body. I say, yeah, and you thirst trapping so that if this don't work out, all the girls could be in your DMs. That's one thought. Okay. The second thought was, you might actually like Katina. You got lucky. She's a pretty girl. She got a nice body. She's your type. So now you can ride this thing out all the way to the end. Like Jeffy. And be on Couples Cam. And be on TV. And get more exposure. Oh, Okay. One or the other. One or the other. Okay? But the thing that got me is, like, if you want to set a thirst trap, okay, you're going to be lifting this girl up. You're going to be grinding everywhere. You're going to be, you know, doing all the most or whatever the case may be. Why would you go to the hotel room the first day that you're going to meet your stranger slash wife, okay, and that you're going to be sleeping in a bed with for the first time on national television? Did you not buy new draws? <laughs> Y'all, okay, the, the, stain, the stain was on the side. I'm not going to say it was in the booty crack and nothing like that. It was on the side. But what I'm saying is, why didn't you buy new drawers? Or why you don't do what all the normal guys do? We have the basketball shorts over room or something. Like, child, if... Okay, so women go and buy lingerie or whatever the case may be, but you're going up here for the first time to meet a woman you have just met and got married to, and nothing strikes you in your head to say, let me get new drawers. Why, why, Elijah, why, why? I have so many questions. Like, why? 
You a grown man. Eh, eh, you too old for that. <laughs> eh, eh, you too old for that. That's it. Ain't nobody got to tell you to go buy some new drawers. Nobody got to tell you that. You grown. You grown. You grown. You grown. That's all I'm saying, okay? But I'm going to tell you this. Mama was not here for Elijah Wan. Mama was sitting there like, and he was just going on and on and on. I told y'all, y'all know Elijah Wan like to tell you what he's going to do instead of doing it at the time, okay? Just going on and on and on and on. Mama said, ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a rabbit? Got up and bounced y'all, I died. I said, not, not her getting up and leaving? <laughs> Tricks are for kids, child. Mama said, I ain't got time for this. He I, he got the wrong one. She wasn't even trying to hear nothing he got to say. She was seeing right through Elijah Wan, just like I'm seeing right, right through Elijah Wan, okay? Now, y'all, we can have a little bit of hope. We can have a little faith because I told you it's either one or the other. Either he gonna take that Jeffy route so he gonna be on couple scam and be the best husband and, you know, make the YouTube channel, okay? Get the exposure and all that stuff that he want and just so happen to maybe fall in love eventually. Or he's trying to set the third strike for the woman after him after this okay it's one or the other we'll have to see how it plays out we'll have to see how it plays out a couple of things i want to point out outside of that daggone elijah one and Alyssa and chris know his brother best friend in my head best friend in my head okay no your brother told him to Steve, but you married though but you married though. Steve, like, yeah, but it's the first time I take it slow, you know. I just want to get to know her. But you married though. <laughs> I said, no, we brother trying to get her laid, okay? <laughs> no, we brother is trying to get her laid. After he said that, he was like, listen, if you don't chase her, somebody else away. I said, on oh, period. <laughs> no, we brother is my best friend in my head, and that's just that on that, okay? I love that Michael's sister gave Jasmina the pin um, to welcome her into the family, the breast cancer awareness pin, um, you know, so she welcome her in the family and let her know that now their mother is watching over her and Michael together. It was so cute. And she was like, now you part of the family. You one of us, girl. And I thought that was really, really, really cute. I loved it. I loved it. I, I love, love it. that Noe went and changed it to her, you know, um, traditional garments. Okay. Noe said, I got to dress change for y'all okay and she brought a little wrap for um steve okay and she wasn't really that upset after finding out that steve don't got no job but it is kind of like the quest first question she asked just saying okay he was telling her she was eating her food like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. she said well i feel like you know he gonna be able to get a job like he'll be able to you know get one eventually i said girl after these eight weeks because i mean he free now so you won't get enough of steve if you don't get nothing else in the next couple of eight in the next couple of weeks okay because he ain't got nowhere to go and nothing to do that's all i'm saying okay so if you can't find out if you love that man by sitting in his face all day every day then i don't know i don't know what to tell you listen listen i saw the preview the married at first sight preview is ridiculous re freaking ridiculous okay i heard a lot of i love yous i heard a lot of i love yous but i also seen elijah Wan going off going off on katina about you know she's married you're married your wife okay i don't know who she was texting or talking to on that phone chat but maybe she shouldn't have been doing it okay no we staying out for 24 hours i said i, I know we but y'all know steve ain't got nowhere to go so no we probably said i need a break child i need a break <laughs> okay lizzie don't know how to communicate but like come on now we could we surprised is we surprised? No. And I don't know what Michael said to on Jasmina, but whatever he said, it was disrespectful because she said, you will talk to me with respect. I said, child, let's get into it because it's time to go. It's going to be a ride. Y'all ready? Put your seatbelts on. Let's go. And that's all I got from this episode and this quick little wrap up that I wanted to get through to y'all. Okay. Um, but I'm so happy that I'm getting Verizon, y'all. I'm done with Xfinity. Verizon going to be here 8 o'clock in the morning. And we're going to have the Wi-Fi back up and running. And I cannot wait to go live to talk about the rest of this episode with y'all. Okay. But I just needed to do something to get y'all out there and hold y'all over until we can go live. Okay. So, now listen. But y'all, it has been a pleasure talking to y'all tonight. I'm going to get ready for bed. I'm going to finish drinking my wine. And I'll see y'all tomorrow in the Ready to Love chat. Do not not forget to like this video subscribe hit that notification bell child let me know what y'all think about what's going on in the comments and we gonna be back on saturday for this married at first sight live peace